Now let's talk about Boolean values. In traditional programming languages, Boolean values are represented by true or false or some other indication. In Q, we don't bother with that. I mean, look, underneath the covers, false is zero and true is one. So in Q, false is zero with a little b after it that says Boolean. True is one with a little b that says Boolean one, which is true. So these are false and true in Q. Sometimes if you ask a Q programmer a question, you might get an answer back 1B or 0B. So what does a list of Booleans look like? It looks a little different than lists of numbers. We've seen that lists of numbers are separated by space. A list of Booleans is not separated by space. So this is a list of three Boolean values. The little b says Boolean. True, false, true. Right? When you see one of these things, if you're a programmer in a traditional language, you may say, oh, wait a minute, this looks like a bit mask. It's not. It's not a bit mask, it's just a list of four Boolean values, true, false, true, true. Each Boolean value is stored in a byte. So that is four bytes of storage, manifestly not a bit mask. Okay, we've got that out of the way. So here's something interesting, you wouldn't be surprised that if we compare two numbers with equals, we get a Boolean result. So is 42 equal to 6 times 7? Yes, it is, as a matter of fact. But here's something you might not expect. We can actually compare two lists. The list 1, 2, 3, let's say, is it equal to the list 10, 2, 30? It doesn't compare the list as a whole, it compares the individual items in the list for quality. So you get back a list of Booleans, false in the first slot, true in the second slot, false in the third slot. So this comes a surprise as a surprise to people who are new to Q. The comparison operators, equals, not equals, greater than, less than, etc., are in fact vector operations in Q. Right? And so you have to be a little careful because if you give a comparison operator two lists that are not of equal length, it doesn't know what to do with it, so it gives you an error message. Tick length. Error messages in Q are pithy to say the least. They start with a single tick and then a very short message. This is actually quite a long error message for Q. All right, so we know about Booleans. Now, Let's talk about date values. There's various ways to do dates and times in Q. Let's talk about the simple ones first. So let's look at the first day of 2018. 2018.01.01. Y, 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 dot M, M, dot D, D. So that's rational, that's a date. Under the covers, this date is actually a count of days since the millennium. Date and times in Q are rational. They're not based on count of ticks since some day in the 1970s when somebody in Linux said, oh my God, what do we do? We got to do something about dates and times. And they started counting ticks from 1970. Q counts dates from the millennium and it counts time from midnight. Very rational. So if what I say is true, then I should be able to ask, is the first day of the millennium equal to zero? And you'd say, wait a minute, can you do that? Those are of different types. In Q, as long as things have compatible underlying values, you can compare them. So we know that the date is a count of days since the millennium, so this should be true. And indeed it is. So what then would the night that everybody was standing in Times Square waiting for the ball to fall, or at least in the US, what would this be? And the answer is minus one. It's one day before the millennium. All right, so those are dates. Pretty cool, they're numeric values, but hey, even cooler, because they're numeric values under the covers, we can actually do arithmetic with dates. We can say, starting at 200101, let's add one. So underneath the covers, it's a count of days. You increment that by one, you get the next day. You can say, 
add 31 days. You get February 1st. Or you can say, let's take February 1st and subtract January 1st. And indeed, there are 31 days in January. Notice the little i, that's a type indicator saying, I'm not going to waste 64 bits because the difference between these dates is, can fit into 32 bits. This is Arthur at his most efficient. OK, so we know about dates. We know about, a little bit about date arithmetic. But wait a minute. Where's the vectors? Ah, I'm so glad you asked. Right to left now. Let's generate 31 integers starting at 0. And let's add that to January 1st of the millennium. There you go. There's all the dates in January of the millennium. What would you have to do in Java to generate that? Just think about that. All right, now we know about dates. Let's talk about months. Months look kind of like dates, except they don't have the day part. They have the year and the month. And you put a little m, that's the type indicator, lowercase m, that says this is the month of January 2000. Some people say, well, wait a minute. I just want the month January. And I say, wait a minute. The month January is not well defined. It could be January of any year. So to make a month well defined, you have to say the month of what year. OK. So this is the month of January in the year. What do you suppose this is underneath the covers? Actually, underneath the covers, it's the count of months since the millennium. So is this true? The answer is yes. Right? It, there are zero months from the first month of the millennium. All right, F February would be one. And again, if we look at December of 1999, and ask, is that minus one? And the answer is yes, it is. All right, now here's something that's very interesting. If we compare the first day of the year with the month of January, you would say, does that even make sense? They're different types. And the answer is, well, yeah, it should make sense. The month, if you're going to compare it to a day, you probably should compare it to the first day of the month. So even though under the covers these are counting different things, Q realizes that from a logical point of view, a business logic point of view, the month should be the same as the first day of the month.